Madele Aroukwa, teacher of the General of Teachers, Vice Chairman of the General of the State. Yesterday, the Governor of the United States has just approved the retirement permit for primary school and secondary school teachers. What is your report? I mean, I mean, 65 years old. So, what is your report? Well, there's a need for us to appreciate Mr. Governor. First and foremost, we agree that the retired teachers, the retired teachers, the new investors, the primary and secondary school. And we are very happy because we discovered that. In some states, it's just like a tug of war for them and, the, and their government. But for our own government, we just look at it only because it is seen there. We just look at it and of course, uh, we the teachers, there is a need for us to be appreciated and without stress much give. Make the pronouncement on their program and directed the head of service to do the needful purchase for the implementation. So we are indeed very happy. What role will this boost the morale of teachers in this state? Well, all those developed states we are looking forward to. That's what they will do. Like the UK. Seven years, teachers. I'm talking about teachers. Like in Germany, 65. In China, is 70. In the US, 65. So I don't really think we have any developed country with 60 years for teachers because they believe experience counts in the field of teaching. If truly you want to implement, if truly you want to raise the standard of education, if still, we need experience. We need to. And when you look at it in this state, you know, uh, employment of teachers, aside from the one we did last year by our amiable governor, a teaching loving governor, the son of a teacher, by excellence, we employed teachers last in 2006, I think you can see, and since then, they have been retiring deaths, and some who decided to quit the job. So the gap is too much. And now that they have newly recruited some, we need some experienced person that we can marry together. They will gain the experience from there because, you know, experience you don't buy it in market. And anything about teaching, there's need for you. To have a collaboration with somebody who have known much about it. It's not all about your book. And aside, you know, our newly employed teachers, some of them are 40 years of age. Some of them are even 43, 45. How many years are they going to spend in that field before they retire? Is it 15 years? Then if they spend 15 years, how far will they be uh, acquire that knowledge and what level? Maybe. So eventually, it, it will be very, very scarce for them to reach the peak of their career. Because if you are spending 20 years, you can't spend 20 years, as me, you have been employed to level 8. And let us calculate it 30, 30, 30, 30 years, or at times, then by the time you have uh, in Takeda. So eventually, you can, by the time you will be in level 14, then you will disengage. But with these five years, they can still have additional two group level. So I believe. And there's need for them to encourage the teachers. You know, if we are not be doing it, I believe uh, in Nigeria, I'm not talking about the now. The UK people, they'll, yeah, they will be, be in need of Nigerian teachers. I believe. Because uh, the, the UK people, they could have tested and trusted that these people can teach their children very well before they ask them to call. They are not just like us. It's not through politics. It's not they don't bribe them. They are the one who ask us to go to come. They know we can deliver. If we can't deliver, they won't ask us to come and 
be teaching their, their, their children. Somebody like me now, if I need an extra uh, uh, lesson teacher for my child, I think I will look for somebody who is capable, not just anybody. Likewise, I believe Nigerian teachers are very capable, and that is why the, the UK are demanding for us.